I'm joined by uh, Jeff Jordan. He's our product manager uh, focusing on our social media solution. So what we want to take a few minutes this morning is, is kind of share with you uh, some information about Facebook and some of the stuff that, that our customers now are doing uh, with us and, and with Facebook and thought you might be uh, might find some insight here uh, this morning. Uh, what I want, first want to start with though is that uh, we announced a survey um, about the mid part of January, uh, online uh, analytics benchmark survey. Uh, you can actually go, we, the survey is still open, you can go take this now. What I thought I'd do is just touch on two quick points around what we're seeing from the survey, some of the initial results. This is exclusive to you guys this morning. We have not uh, published the, the final uh, results of the survey. Uh, so it is still open if you want to go take this. Uh, if you fill out the survey, you will actually get your own personalized copy. It will actually give you uh, your results as it compares to the rest of the industry. So this is something I, th I think would be really interesting for you to, to take a look at. Um, so one of the questions that we ask is, are you using social media in your current marketing efforts? So, you know, almost not surprisingly, almost 70% of you said, yes, we are using social media uh, in, our, in our, our current marketing efforts. Another thing that we found was that... Um, uh, asking the question, what sites do you find most important to your social media efforts? And uh, what you said was that, uh, and your peers, Facebook, Twitter, blogs, those are the top three areas that, that you're focused on uh, as of today. So uh, with that, we thought we'd kind of zoom in on Facebook a little bit. We'll click down a little bit and, and, and talk a little bit more about, more about what you can do today in measuring Facebook and, and leveraging that with your social media efforts. Um, so those of you, you, most of you hopefully know, uh, we made an announcement last month uh, with Facebook. We are, I believe, the only analytics vendor with a strategic partnership with Facebook. Uh, our engineers are now talking directly to their engineers and our executives and their executives. So really, really tight relationship. So we're, we're moving forward on, on some pretty exciting things that Jeff's going to share with you this morning. Uh, with that, uh, the reason we did this is, again, for our customers. Uh, you told us, hey, there's 400 million active Facebook users out there. 50% of those log in every single day. That's an audience we can't ignore. We need to go uh, figure out how we can analyze and measure and optimize uh, to our, our business to those customers. Uh, the other way to look at this was if you look at the time spent on the individual sites versus all time spent online, um, Google certainly commands a lot of traffic. Yahoo commands a lot of traffic. But if you look at it in the context of Facebook, pretty big numbers. Your, your customers, your customers' customers, the consumers, are on Facebook. They're interacting, they're friending, they're sharing, they're fanning, you know, all the activities that you can do that Jeff will cover. Uh, so it's really important that we offer you an opportunity and, and a way to, to measure and analyze and, and optimize that. So with that, Jeff's going to kind of walk through uh, some of the cool stuff that you need to think about with Facebook. Great. Thanks, Matt. So a uh, real quick, quick survey. S about 70% of you said that you're interested in Facebook and that you're using it in your marketing efforts. How many of you have logged into Facebook today? Yeah, that's good. How many of you logged into Facebook before you checked your email? I, I, I kind of do that, I'll be honest with you. And I can say that my boss isn't here, so, so I'll tell you, yeah, I do. I, I definitely check uh, my Facebook before I check my email. And th the numbers are staggering. Um, I recently read that, uh, that over half a trillion minutes are spent on Facebook every single month. Half a trillion. The, so uh, so if, if we're going to go where our customers are and get where our customers are, Facebook is the place to do it. So first, the first thing that we need to be thinking about, the first questions we need to be asking are around basic measurement. Uh, what, what kind of return is Facebook offering? Many of you have, have a variety of offerings in Facebook. You have a, an application, you have a fan page, you might be using Facebook Connect, you might be advertising. What is the basic ROI of those, of those type of efforts? And particularly, in light of the, new, the announcements that have been made, um, around Facebook, uh, excuse me, Facebook, what was formerly Facebook Connect and is now the Open Graph API. Well, how does that affect your business? Um, second, I want you to understand how it's working, understand who it's working for. Um, so who is spending that half a trillion uh, minutes per month um, on Facebook? Who's doing it on your side and, and who, how are they interacting with your applications? Um, Facebook gives you an opportunity now uh, as never before, as no other site in, in the history of the web, to target those customers once you understand who they are. So that second step is critically important. As soon as you understand who they are, you can now go to Facebook and say, I want a uh, user from Arkansas who likes trucks, who uh, is in a relationship, and is male. Give them to me. And voila. They're on, they're on Facebook? They're on Facebook. There's quite a few of them. I'm friends with lots of those people. Um, <laughs> But uh, um, 
Actually, another stat I read about Facebook, speaking of being friends with people, I read uh, that the average user has 130 Facebook friends. So I thought that was a really good statistic to make you feel like an absolute loser if, you, if I have left. So, you know, so if you have less than 130, go out and start friending people now so that you can get up above that, that mark. There's, a, there's some personal online analytics effectiveness that you can measure there. Um, now, once you've targeted those, those visitors, how does Facebook m fit into the rest of your, of your online marketing spend? How does it compare to search? How does it compare to display and your, and your other investments online? So as you're thinking about Facebook, Facebook can be, it can be kind of a confusing platform, right? Um, there are a lot of different aspects to it, and the way that you measure each is a little bit different. So first we have pages, formerly known as fan pages. Um, now these pages are very simple, a uh, collection of tabs. So you have standard tabs like your wall, your info, your uh, photos, etc. the stuff that comes standard on a page. And then there are custom tabs, which are basically applications that look like tabs on a fan page. And then of course we have applications like uh, Farmville, Mafia Wars, the more traditional applications that sit alone, that augment the Facebook experience. Uh, Facebook advertising, uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, ads that you see on the right side of, of the experience that target based on all of those, some of the uh, demographic information that I'll talk about in a bit. And then we have the, the open graph, or what was formerly known as Connect. The open graph is the way that you can bring Facebook's connectivity and social experience to your website. Um, there's, been a, there's been a lot of buzz about this, and you can do this in a variety of ways. You can do it by uh, simply uh, allowing users to log into your website uh, with their Facebook profile, and you can also do that by uh, uh, pulling in information about, about their friends, about the, what their friends think are important, and serving up content to them based on that data. So, um, let me do a quick time check here. So, First, measuring Facebook success. Um, and my apologies to those of you who, are, who aren't able to, to make out this, uh, this report that I have here. But here we can see one of our customers, uh, you know, as, as it was just getting started, wanted to get a, base, a baseline for what Facebook was doing for him and what each of, these, uh, each of his different efforts on Facebook were yielding him. Um, and they were able to find, uh, of course, that, uh, you know, they were able to find that they were all yielding a certain amount of success, but that the fan page was actually a hidden gem for them. It was a hidden gem because the fan page really didn't involve much investment for, for his company, and uh, yet it was able to yield a, a high degree of conversion um, and uh, relative, to the, relative to the small amount of uh, visits that it created. In addition, uh, they were able to look at a real basic, basic information about their Connect users versus non-Connect users, and they were able to validate their hypothesis around the value of those Facebook Connect customers. They were, able to, they were able to see that Facebook Connect users were more engaged, and while they represented a smaller group of their audience, uh, they were able to see that uh, they were yielding higher conversion rates and, and they, were, they were more sticky on the site. And so they made a decision based on this information to make that, that Connect opportunity or the login using your Facebook account opportunity to uh, make it more prominent so that uh, they had more users that were uh, converting at the same rate. So once you understand that, that basic value that you're getting out of Facebook, now who, who is, who is uh, using Facebook um, more specifically? Again, Facebook gives you the ability now through the Open Graph API to pull in this type of data about who your users are. So, you know, we had, we had a customer um, that was participating in, the, in uh, beta testing of a, of a product that we uh, announced just recently. And uh, they were able to find that, of course, under 18, they were getting a lot of visits, a lot of, a lot of action from these uh, under 18 group. But unfortunately, they were just basically a kind of looky-loos. Um, what they were able to do is zero in on a more valuable segment and understand that their advertising and their experience and their applications and on their fan pages needed to be focused in on, on this 26 to 34, I, I can't see very well, but in, in that more valuable segment. Um, and it, then they were able to go in and look a little bit further at the, at the female visitors that they had coming to their site. And they were able to drill down deeply uh, in Discover, actually, to see not only the revenue that was generated by, by their female visitors, but also 
uh, you know, the country that they were from, the particular age group that they, that they f fell into, and segment at an almost infinitesimal rate, you know, and I, it's, it's kind of fun to jump in and start segmenting based on your Facebook users. I mean, you know, I joked earlier about users from Alabama who, who uh, like trucks, who are in a relationship, who have one year of college, et cetera, and you can do that now. You, c you can do that, and you should be doing that, because once you have that information, um, you can start targeting those users uh, with Facebook advertising. Now, Facebook, it, it's a tremendous opportunity, as I mentioned before, and I think it's important that we think about Facebook advertising in the right way. Um, a lot of times, we, because uh, the way that we go about purchasing Facebook advertising is very similar to the way that we might buy search, uh, the results and, and your strategy around Facebook advertising should be very different. Don't think of this as a portal into a search engine. Think of this as a portal into some, a, a portal site like Yahoo or MSN, a simple way to be able to target your users on a massive, massive uh, destination on the web. So, you know, you can jump in there and based on the information that, so we found out that uh, women in Taiwan were a particularly valuable segment to you, well, you can do that now. Um, you can find those women that are in Taiwan. In fact, you can say the exact city that they're from. Um, you, can, you can call out their age. Uh, again, I mentioned females, their, their education status. You can even find out if they're in a, re in a relationship, which would be really fun. I mean, if, if nothing else, it, powerful marketing opportunities and really fun marketing opportunities to be able to, to target those who are dating or who are not or have particular interests. In, in, um, a, in a quick interesting story there, we actually had a wedding photographer that was using this to look at the engaged status in Facebook in, in LA. So they want to find all the brides in Los Angeles that had this status of engage. So it's a great way of, you know, kind of getting a really highly targeted audience. Uh, definitely. Uh, in fact, we, we uh, um, not to turn this into an advertisement, but actually we're releasing uh, Facebook Plus, which is uh, our first foray from, you know, Search Center, as many of you know. Is, search, search Center Plus, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Search, search Center, formerly known as Search Center, um, was uh, particularly aimed at, at search advertising, managing ad spend there. Well, this is our first foray into a non-search uh, ad platform. And, uh, and we've actually had users using this for, for the past couple of months. And uh, we, we were able to help one customer uh, using this tool uh, increase their, Facebook, their number of Facebook fans, or likers, as they are known now, um, by over 100,000, which was their, their key KPI. So powerful targeting opportunities here with advertising. Now, uh, the question that all of your, that you've, all of your bosses are going to want to know now is how does this fit into our, our marketing mix? Um, and so uh, this is actually something that we're releasing tomorrow, um, our cross-channel report that gives you the ability to see how Facebook fits into the rest of your, rest of your online marketing spend. Um, so I can see that it plays a prominent role almost immediately, and this is actually something that uh, I've changed the numbers around a bit, but this is actually a report that we, one of our beta testers was able to uh, uh, generated for us, and this is kind of how it fell for them. So it's really, really exciting stuff. And, and Facebook now, as Matt mentioned, um, it is, you know, it's it is the it's not just the social part of the web now. You know, we shouldn't be thinking about Facebook as part of our social strategy. Facebook should be part of our our web strategy. It's not just a, a peripheral piece anymore. It's it's the most engaging site in the history of the web. And so it, it, we, should, we should treat it as such in our marketing mix. Now, I've talked about the things that you should be paying attention to that are specifically related to, um, they're specifically related to content that you create. So your fan pages, uh, your applications, uh, all, the, all the content that you have control of. In addition to that, thanks to the Open Graph API, you also have the ability to track all the other stuff that's happening on the web. So brand mentions, uh, comments, posts, links to your site, all of that data is now available through the Open Graph API. And, uh, and uh, actually, we have some, some really cool stuff that we're working on in that regard. But Matt told me not to make this an advertisement, so I'm not going to talk about it. But it's kind of right. like, like a dad who just had a new baby, uh, not, not, talk, not showing pictures. So, so very exciting stuff that we're, that we're excited to talk with you about in the future. Though. So we're outside in the, uh, the exhibit hall. Come check us out there uh, again. Uh, if you want to see how your efforts and your online uh, analytics uh, efforts compare to your peers and the rest of the industry, go ahead and uh, uh, take the survey. We'll send you your own personalized results, and uh, thank you for your time.